pregnant women on dating sites with pure confidence with another man's seed in their stomach. Pure evidence that another man has been there. They have no remorse. They don't feel nothing. They feel like they can do anything because you guys, you men, you simply lapews have taken everything. Now I know how it is to have a, song, a strong sex drive. I know how it is to, you know, to want to bang something, but to have no standards and not, and not to set the bar for nothing, it shows that a woman can do, they know that they can do anything, anything nowadays. And it's going to be some simply pew that's going to catch them and save them. They could be for the streets. They can be for anything they can be on the pole they can be for the streets they can be they can be on them videos they can be on the magazines they can make butterball legs wide open it don't matter it's always going to be a handful of guys that's going to catch her and willing to catch her just because she look good and that's why they feel like they can do anything they want when they want to do it No standards. These simply lapews out here have no standards. Blue pill, beta, whatever you want to call it. They have no remorse. They know that they gonna they gonna get another they can get another sucker right there waiting for. Them. They know they can get another sucker that easy. It's that easy. They can get another sucker with another man's seed in their stomach. Wow. Saying maybe we can grow to something special. They skip from one man to the next. Like a like a transfer metro bus. They constantly skip from one man to the next. Smile and laugh after that. They make up something. Don't go if they can't if they can't control them, they skip to the next. If they can't control them, they skip to the next. That's how it go. You men have to you simply lapews have to turn into men. Take the red pill, pray to God, get anointed. We can't be like Adam. We can't continue letting Adam penetrate our souls in generation after generation. Adam made that mistake. We can't let these modern day Eves, modern day Jezebels, modern day Delilahs take us from being on our square, on our purpose, having some standards. They can't help us if they constantly, they constantly um, being leftovers and residue from another man. How many men does it take to realize that your, your decision making is not up to par? Whoever you like don't like you or you choosing people for the wrong reasons. These men out here, these simple pews out here are not geniuses. Most of the men have women. Especially men that's not showing you strong attention. They have wives, they have girlfriends. Or they have a lot of women. So it's easy for a man to be laid back and act like he's cool, calm, and collective when he's going home to a girl. That he may not, he may love, but may not be happy with. May have kids with. He may care for her, but she get on his nerves and stress him out. So he find other ways to release his stress. Is that right? No, it's not right. 
But that's what a lot of guys do. A lot of us guys, we love a woman, but we lose attraction for her. We don't want to leave her, but we love her. But we don't get stimulated no more because of the arguing. And Some of the guys uh, deserve the arguing. Some of the guys ain't worth nothing. Some of the guys are jack, you know, jacked up. But a lot of guys, a lot of guys, they ain't bringing no drama. They just working and trying to love their girl, love their wife. And they get a lot of backlash, a lot of mouth. And all they doing is working and trying to love you. They get a lot of mouth. A lot of guys can't stand it arguing. In order for them not to get real mad, they cheat. This is what they tell me. They call me up and have one-on-one -on -one consultations and they tell me that they cheat on their girls and their wives because they're not sexually stimulated. Because their wives or girlfriends or whoever they're dealing with turned them off. So they still deal with other girls. And you, you women out there are the ones that's choosing these guys even though that they are unavailable, but you're attracted to that vacancy that you they're not able to give you a whole bunch of attention because they they have another life. So they're not able to give you that which a single man can give you, his full undivided attention. So that's why you'd be like, wow, you know, he's just so calm. He, he wasn't rushing me to get in the bed. He wasn't doing that. He, he got all, he patient. He got all the time in the world. He just waiting for you to get comfortable. He's not really hungry. He's not happy. And he, But he's not hungry either. So that's why you get a lot of guys, a lot of guys. that step out. But women have to learn how to appreciate the hungry guys, the guys that's showing them a lot of attention, the guys that's calling a lot, that's texting back frequently in a timely manner, the guys that want to spend time with them, the guys that's going to church, that's being persistent. These are strong guys. These are strong men. These are strong men. They just interested. They just trying to do the right thing. That's it. They just trying to do the right thing. Strong men trying to do the right thing. But they get leftovers. They're dealing with these they're dealing with women at the end most of the time unless they get a younger woman that appreciate them but as as time go by a lot of these women they belong to the streets purposely purposely or not purposely a lot of women accidentally fall for the streets. They accidentally belong to the streets. It wasn't intentional. They just attracted to that which they can't have. Men that seem like they pre-selected, men that seem like they already got women, they got a confidence about them that they not really press. That's what a lot of women are attracted to. But at the end, the end, the end story, the end story is, oh, he's not nothing. He's he's a dog. He's this, he's that. He's a dog. He's this, he's that. But you don't realize why you are attracted to him. You should be able to explain. You 
should be able to explain why you're attracted to somebody. If you can't explain why you're attracted to a man, then you're liking him for the wrong reasons. Say, so you say, yeah, he got a good heart. He he's persistent. You know what I'm saying? He like asking me questions. He shows strong interest. He's into good health. He pray. He's in God. He's he, he admits that he's not perfect. He admits his faults. That's when you know you're dealing with a, not a perfect man, but a genuine man.